Nearly a year ago to the date, I created a video covering the process of hiding those annoying shortcut banners that show up anytime you use custom icons on your home screen. But with the iOS 16 update, Apple changed some stuff behind the scenes, essentially making that video now mostly irrelevant. So I thought it was well worth taking the time to put together a brand new version of the video to hopefully help anyone who's been having the issue since the iOS 16 update. Similar to last year's video, I thought I'd also use this video to talk about how you can go about hiding the dock on iOS 16 as well. But with that being said, let's dive in. So let's start with removing these annoying shortcut banners that pop up anytime you launch any shortcut you've created, whether it be when an automation is triggered or perhaps the more common scenario for whenever you open any custom icon you might have on your home screen. Now I'm just gonna flag up front that the workaround on iOS 16 is a little jankier than it was on iOS 15, so please bear that in mind. And as well as that, this process does not work, but also isn't really needed on iPhone 14 Pro devices because shortcut related banners and notifications only ever show in this dynamic island cutout at the top. And because that thing is always animating in and out, you really do not notice the shortcut notifications each time that they occur. But with that being said, to get the process underway, we're gonna first open up the shortcuts application and come to the My Shortcuts page. And with that open, we need to first create a new shortcut here. Then we need to search for the action Show Notification and select the option that comes up. Then we can hit Done. And then from there, we need to actually open every single one of our custom shortcuts that we wanna hide the banner for. So let's open up the phone shortcut here as an example. And for each app shortcut, we need to search for run shortcut, select the option that comes up, and then we need to select that show notification shortcut that we just created. Then we need to drag it above the open app action and then tap on done. And as I said, repeat that for every app shortcut you have on your home screen. Then we need to come home and launch each of our app shortcuts. So I'm gonna launch the phone shortcut here, then I'm gonna tap on allow. And with that done, we now need to head into our settings menu, open up the screen time section, tap on see all activity, come all the way down to the notification section. And you'll probably notice that you cannot tap on the shortcuts app here for some reason. So to make it tappable, we need to simply tap on any of the previous day bars here, and hopefully the shortcuts application will show up and be tappable. Now, if your phone is brand new, so therefore the Shortcuts app isn't showing up at all, then a little hack to get this to work straight away without having to wait a day or two is to come back home and just open up a heap of your app shortcuts one after the other, maybe two to three times per icon in total. Then go to the general section in your settings menu and into the date and time section, disable set automatically and change the date to any day in the future in the coming week. Then come back to the screen time section and tap on see all activity. Then again, down to the notification section and tap on the new bar that is now shown up. And hopefully the shortcuts app can be tapped, but if it still can't be opened, then just tap the previous day bar and then yesterday's bar again. And now it should finally be tappable. With that open, we simply need to disable the allow notifications toggle and that's it. Now, as I said, this solution is a little janky because whilst that will pretty much disable the notification banner, it also disables the really smooth app opening animation. And on top of that, you will still sometimes see a little glimpse of the banner at the top. So it's definitely not the best workaround. And as I said, certainly not as clean as it was on iOS 15, but I definitely still think this solution is better than nothing at all. Just keep in mind, anytime you restart your phone, you'll then need to go back into the screen time section and disable the shortcuts notifications again, because they always get re-enabled anytime you restart your phone, which is kind of annoying, but not the biggest issue in the world. This process also won't hide any of the banners that will show whenever an automation runs. So to make sure that those are hidden as well, it's actually really simple. Just make sure that whenever you're setting up an automation that you disable this ask before running toggle and then tap on don't ask. And as long as those are set up correctly, then the banner also won't show when any of your automations run. Now, fingers crossed, Apple comes to their senses and simply allows us to disable shortcut banners completely via a setting in the Shortcuts app or via the settings menu at some point in the future. But in all honesty, I'm not holding my breath for that to happen. All right, from there, let's chat about hiding our dock. And this is actually the exact same process as before in that the trick is purely down to using the right wallpaper, but there are a few new things to be aware of with the iOS 16 update, hence why I thought it was worth briefly discussing in this video as well. 
Now, given that this trick has been around for a while, you can now find stacks of wallpapers all over the internet that will hide the dock with the right settings enabled. But if you like the look of the ones you've been seeing throughout this video, then you can actually pick these up over on my website. I've now created five different wallpaper packs over the past year or so, all of which contain a bunch of regular style wallpapers with different design languages depending on the pack. But each pack also contains alternate versions of every single wallpaper that will hide the dock on iOS. The only thing to keep in mind is that no matter the wallpaper you're using, whether it be one of mine or one that you find on the internet, for the dock to actually become hidden, you'll need to make sure you're using the right system theme. So let's use my latest swirl wallpaper pack here as an example, which I've downloaded from my shop directly to my iPhone 14 Pro. And so whilst I'm in the download section within the files application, I'm gonna first tap to unzip the folder, then tap on iOS, which is where the hide in the dock wallpapers are located. And then I'm gonna come down and select this wallpaper here called Sherbet iOS Lite. As the name indicates, this wallpaper works with the light theme activated. And so to get this over to my photos application so that I can select it as my wallpaper, I'm gonna tap the share button and then tap on save image. Your wallpaper might already be located within the photos app though. So you might be able to skip that part of the process completely. But with that done, I can now come back and open up the settings menu, then scroll down here to the wallpaper section and then tap on add new wallpaper. I'll then tap on photos, then albums, and then on recent, and I'll select the sherbet light wallpaper that I just saved. Then I can tap on add, and before I hit set, I'll need to tap on customize home screen so that I can disable the blur option here, but you could obviously leave that enabled if you like, and it will still hide the dock. Just one thing to keep in mind, the wallpaper settings for your lock screen and your home screen are linked, but you can make them a little more independent simply by tapping on photos here, then again on albums, then recent, and then again by selecting that same wallpaper. And that now gives you the option to pinch and resize your home screen wallpaper if need be. And then when I hit done and come back home, you can see that my dock is now completely invisible. And that has happened right away because I already have the system light theme activated. Now for the dark theme, it's the exact same process, but of course, instead of having the light theme activated, you need to instead make sure your system dark theme is activated. And if it is, then your dock will also be completely hidden as long as you're using one of the dark theme supported wallpapers. Now, if you're using the right wallpaper and your system theme is correct, but your dock is still not invisible, then you might need to head into your settings menu and search for the setting reduce transparency and ensure that the toggle is disabled. That has been a common issue amongst a lot of people who have emailed me saying that their dock isn't hidden with my wallpapers. So again, just make sure that that toggle is disabled and your dock should be invisible. Now, if you, like me, don't like the sound of having to use either system theme all day, every single day, just to match the wallpaper you're using, then you can actually use focus modes and some automation tricks to make your setup automatically change wallpapers and themes at any given time in the day. But I covered that entire process in my recent iOS home screen setup tutorial. So I'll leave a link to that up in the cards and down in the description below. And so there you have it. That is how you can hide shortcut banners and make your dock invisible on iOS 16. If you found this video helpful, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.